Bulletproof Backpack tells the story of multiple perspectives, multiple students who are all kind of put in a situation of a threat. Kind of what's going through their minds, um, some take it seriously, some don't, which I think really kind of hits how it is in present day. I mean, many of us, when we're put in the face of fear, we freeze. You know, we don't want to put ourselves in that sort of headspace that someone's in our school and we might never see our families again. And Bulletproof Backpack really tells the story of fear. I relate to Bulletproof Backpack because I've been doing school shooting like drills my entire life and there's been a couple scares as well. There's been people on campus so we've actually had to like not sure if there's gonna be a school shooting or not. It like really freaked people out and some kids didn't come back to school for like two weeks and it's just a really big deal and people don't, some people don't realize how big of a deal school, sh school shootings can have on people. This story is so important in 2023 because we're desensitized. In the past, even just a couple years ago, we were angry because we weren't being listened to, we weren't being heard. It was always someone else talking on the behalf of students. On the news, you never really see a student being interviewed or being talked to about. And in, at the end of the day, it's always someone else being heard and not the students. This show can show people that you're allowed to feel this way, that this is a complex and serious situation and you're allowed to, you don't have to be paranoid about it necessarily, but you're allowed to, you're allowed to cry, you're allowed to be afraid. You don't have to be like, well, this is just my life. I just have to go through these drills every month or even more. Uh, I had my first one, I believe in second grade. And in second grade, they would tell us to go against these lockers that we had. They weren't really lockers, they were cabinets. And they told us to just stay quiet because if this was the real thing, we, we would be shot. I remember that not a lot of people took it seriously. We'd rather think, oh, it's just a drill. Nothing's really happening. You know, another routine, stop class, go in the corner, sit in the dark, be quiet, wait for like 10 minutes, and then the world goes back to normal. But really, how is that gonna work if something really does happen? What do I tell my parents? Like, What if something happens to me? What if something happens to the person that's sitting right next to me? What do I do? Do I really follow the drill? Do I really stay here while someone's outside? Like, what happens? And I think that's really the moment where I was actually afraid. It's really important for our voices to be heard. I don't think it's really talked about how many of us are really desensitized to this sort of thing. You're always wondering, in the end, if this actually happens to us, what are we gonna do? There needs to be something that has to change and or else we're just going to keep having school shootings because that's all that's happening right now.